Hello everyone, hopefully you can see me. Let me move this. We are headed to Los Angeles today. So I thought I'd start the, start the journey here before I go. I'm all packed, shoes ready to go. I'm just waiting on my Uber. This is my comfy um, flight attire. I always wear like either joggers or stretchy leggings or something like that, but I just like to be comfy. I got crazy socks today, <laughs> but uh, let's get it. I just arrived and um, this is a unique kind of a hotel I've stayed here before and I remember the first time that I stayed here I said it reminded me of uh, three's company for some reason I have no idea why um, if you ever saw the reruns come and knock on my door and um, it might be something to it because this is in the Santa Monica area as well and I believe that's where the show is shot. So anyway, um, anyway, who? It, I, let me show you this room. It's it's um, kind of for me. It's a little creepy because it's kind of like mini hot motel type of um, apartment kind of a deal. I don't know what to call it. Let me show you this room. All right, this is giving brighter than it really is. This is this is with all the lights on. It just darkened. I just be you know brightening it up a little bit. So um, I got the one king size bed. It doesn't look like a king. It looks like a queen, but it's probably because I checked in super late. It is now like, you can see it here. It is now 1030 um, Pacific time, which means it is 1230 or yeah, 1230 uh, CST. So here's the room. Let me stop chatting. So here I am. I don't know if you can see me because it's so dark. Here I am. And so when you walked, you saw how it was when we walked in. And so you have a little, we have a window that looks out into this courtyard that you saw when we were walking in. So you're literally like feet, like a couple feet away from somebody just walking by and, and looking in. So anyway, that's the creepy part. Um, but there is security. You can't just get up here. You have to have a key card to get up here. So they get, I have my little space here. I have a little fridge, microwave, my TV. Obviously you saw the bed, a little sitting area. It's not as plush as some of the other rooms. Remember when I've been showing you the other rooms, I'm like, oh, I wish I had guests because this space is so big, but this one ain't, it ain't that. Nothing, nothing going on back here. It's just, it's just wall and tissue. And then this is my closet space. Um, not as, as plush and big. Oh, well, actually, it's pretty, pretty deep space. That was that was a little deceiving there. If I had a lot of clothes, this would be a good thing. But I don't. I'm only staying here for two days. All right, I'm about to get unpacked. Um, and just relaxed. Um, today is. By the way, I don't think I said this. Today is MLK Day, so I actually traveled on my day off. Don't normally do stuff like that, but I don't have what I call good travel juju. And I'm usually delayed, canceled, all kinds of crazy stuff happens when I travel. I was delayed twice today. I ended up getting here two hours later than I was supposed to. Or two, three hours later than I was supposed to. So if that were yesterday, I probably would have missed my meetings and stuff. I don't know if I showed you my OOTD. I already took my shoes off, but let me, let me go ahead and show you. These were the shoes, some patent leather Pumas. And then with respect to my outfit, let's see, can you see, I did show you some of it, but it, it's still hard to see. Whatever, you get the point. But the part I wanted to show you was really the the fun socks. I got my alma mater on here, Loyola University. I wore those socks. I'm sure people thought I was weird. I bought a new uh, case for my phone, so vlogging is a little bit different now on my phone. I need a new phone in general, but... Um, I've had this phone since, I want to say June of 2020, so this is a long time to have the same phone. Before that, you're going to trip when I say this, but before that, 
I, I had a BlackBerry phone. I switched from a BlackBerry to this. <laughs> so that lets you know, one, um, that I do not like change. And then two, um, I'm a little old school. So um, I used to, it's funny, people are like, you need to get a new phone. You need to get a, a better phone. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I move at the speed of business, not at the speed of social media. That was always my rebuttal. So anyway, let me get... Um, let me get unpacked and I'm just gonna whatever. Good morning. I didn't talk to you guys as soon as I got on because I had to jump up pretty early. For some reason, it actually feels like it's 6 a.m. Even though like my body should be at 8 a.m. Feels like it's 6 a.m. Um, um, my internet connection is going in and out and I have calls. I'm just I'm a little paranoid about this. I'm a little anxious. Um, so I, because it was quote so early i am not dressed i'm still in my pjs i look <laughs> to the camera i look presentable ish um you know i have a headset on so you can't really couldn't see that i have my hat on but i am going to i do have 30 minutes right now I'm going to get dressed before my next call let's see what is my next i have an hour before my next call and um yeah so i'm gonna get dressed um there's breakfast down i'm just gonna see what they have because i really would prefer to have my normal um chai latte from starbucks which i think there's one a couple blocks away so um i kind of want to hold on that until until my lunch um time where i need to walk over to the office um turns out that my the leader who's supposed to be there with us is going to be running late all kinds of craziness with the flight so um, I'll be stepping in in his place to lead lead the meetings until he gets there. So um, I definitely have to be there on time. Can't be lollygagging. Um, that all said, I'm going to get dressed. This is part of my outfit. I had to just put this on to look presentable for the camera. But let me get dressed. All right. Hopefully you can see this. I feel like this is going to go dark in a second. But this is the monochrome look. It looks very... Uh, librarian so to speak i am nervous about this skirt i purchased this one size too big and it is the elastic is not doing doing anything it's kind of just is i don't know i don't know if it will slip all the way down but it's certainly there's like there's nothing there's it's not grabbing so anyway we may have a um a bit of a wardrobe issue i i didn't know if i i don't know what i'm gonna do because these were like this was a super, I bought two of these skirts, super inexpensive. I don't know if I want to pay to get it tailored, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know. Um, and at the moment I am thicker than usual. So once I get to a place where I'm probably at my normal size, this won't work. So anyway, for now it's, it's, it's okay. Um, everything is super comfy slouchy except for this, um, uh, faux tank top. It's like a muscle muscle top thing going um hopefully you can see this this is so freaking dark and uh i need to start bringing a vlogging camera this phone is not helping me out but anyway so this is the outfit um i have on my uh rothy rothy shoes brightening did not help it out so hopefully you can see that and the skirt is from old navy satin slip skirt um this is from azara i think you've heard enough about these in my other vlogs this is from melrose and market and i believe this sweater is urban yes it is urban outfitters and i have my hair pulled back as usual it's actually still in the two twists but i just bound them together to pull it back into a little bun and the room is a disaster i've um, already blown it up because i had meetings earlier so i just hurried up and just got going but um yeah so let's uh get out of here and check out what they have for breakfast so in order to get breakfast you do have to come outside we have to go i go down and around but it is all the way down at the end here somewhere i think uh, from what i can remember yeah i think i'm pointing in the right direction so let's make our way there it's actually a pool too so if you're brave enough in this 40 50 degree weather go take a dip it's open <laughs> I'm definitely a grab extra food when you can kind of a person so this is what I grabbed um, some eggs here and um, a couple of waffles that they have a machine where you can make them um, fresh and then these I'm gonna throw in my bag because I'm always nervous about 
And I think we've talked about this before. I'm always hung, uh, nervous about being hungry with no snacks. And so whenever there's an opportunity for me to load up on a few snacks, I do that. And so um, I'm going to taste this and see if it's edible. And then let's go. Okay, nope, not edible. Definitely making a stop at Starbucks to grab something. <laughs> this was not good. All right, we are on the move. I decided to go to um, Starbucks before I go into the office. This is different. We don't have Carl's Jr. in um, Chicago. And then we also don't have palm trees. Um, so anyway, I'm walking down Santa Monica Boulevard. Um, headed to the Starbucks and then headed straight over to the office um, it seems that the, uh, the the business leader who's supposed to come is running later and later and you can thank the weather the crazy weather that we're having everywhere I think everywhere is having crazy weather but definitely in Chicago we have um, deep be deep below freezing temps right now which is causing delays with travel and then other places are getting a ton of snow so I even hear that Texas is below freezing at the moment. I'm going to get my drink, head to the office, and maybe I'll show you a little bit Listen more. Listen to all the birds and stuff. Gorgeous morning. Look at the sky. Gorgeous. I think the high today is 63. As opposed to negative whatever. It's been a long day, and I am just now getting back. But I will, uh, give me a second. I'm gonna clue you in on everything that's gone down today. Nothing super exciting, but worth telling. Long, long day. I already told you that my first meeting started at 6 a.m. Pacific time. It is now, uh-oh, oh, I didn't update, but it's 8, 821. Pacific time. Um, so needless to say, it's been a long day. It's been a 14 hour day so far and I need to get myself. I still got some work to do, believe it or not. I got to do some stuff to sort of wrap, wrap today's stuff up and get prepared for tomorrow. Um, that said, I need to shower and all that stuff tonight. I'm just going to be too beat to get prepared in the morning and pack all my stuff up tonight because um, I got to take it with me. I'm flying out tomorrow. Um, basically leaving from the office. I probably, I have a long gap between, yeah, it turns out I have a long gap between when our meetings wrap and when my flight is, because I think the meetings wrap at like 1230 and my flight is at 530. So I'm probably going to grab lunch with a coworker or something like that. Anyway, for rambling today, let's see, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, um, I don't remember. <laughs> I know we certainly did. We went to lunch and I got some salad. Then after the day, we went to an Indian restaurant. Now check it. I don't like Indian food. I don't like the spices. Um, it's just me because I'm a super picky eater. I have the palate of a 12-year-old. So anything above and beyond, you know, that's, I don't know, that's a, even slightly different. I'm like, mm-mm. So the only thing I was looking forward to were three things. Non- uh chai and kufi which i love the mango kufi uh, which is just like a ice mm, ice cream slash sherbet 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 um that's mango flavor it has several flavors but mango so anyway um i had more naan that i could shake a stick at so i started with an appetizer that they had was was a samosa it had I want to say potatoes, spinach, and peas. But the spices that were in it weren't palatable to me. They had some sauce that was like a cilantro, mint, something or other. So I, 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 being a good sport, I did try it. Wasn't a fan. Um, my garlic naan came. I was happy. Some other things came out. There was some paneer that came out that was like spinach, cheese, I don't know what I tried a little bit of that wasn't for me um, had some white rice <laughs> and that was it and and my chai my chai was super 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 strong and when I got like maybe it maybe like an eight ounce cup when I got about halfway through I thought it through and was like 
This is a bad idea. I need to get to sleep tonight. And drinking a big, strong cup of chai is a bad idea. So I, st I stopped halfway through with that, too. So um, needless to say, I didn't really eat much for dinner. Um, I think um, I had enough for lunch. I'm good. Um, I will show you my outfit of the day in the morning. I'm actually... This trip has been so boring and so work-focused. I'm not sure that this is something that I even want to post. If I post it... It might be just like an extra on a um, on a Friday. Let me go. I've been talking too much and it's boring. All right. <clears throat> well, hopefully you can hear me. <clears throat> There's a faint fan in here. Continuation of the boring vlog here. I am getting ready. I'm in the restroom. Um, I haven't gotten dressed. Still have my PJs, even though these are kind of swanky PJs. But um. I'm going to do a mask because I think I told you all, my face just doesn't seem to travel well. <clears throat> and what that means is whenever I travel, I look haggard when I get wherever I'm about to go. So I've discovered, and I didn't do this yesterday, I should have, um, or the day before, whatever. I've discovered that um, bringing these masks have been great. They revitalize and refresh my face once I land. And so that's more, that's a more true representation of what I actually look like as opposed to this haggard, tired person in front of me. So I'm going to do that this morning before I head off to the office. I am up much earlier than I need to be um, because I am on Chicago time. Um, and I'm up late compared to Chicago time. <laughs> but um, we're going to do this. I saw a hack that cuts this little bit here and cuts or somewhere here or here i gotta look at it again so that these things fit your face better because these are you know a suggested size not everybody's face is the same size or um, same shape so these kind of land wherever they want to land a lot of times sometimes these get all in my eyeballs <laughs> which is what it's trying to do right now so i leave these on for about 15 20 minutes when i do these so we'll see if I have enough. I mean, I'm early, but I don't know if I want to spare that much time. I kind of want to get an early start to my day at, at the actual physical office. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to keep this on while I get dressed. I take the extra sauce and juice that's in here and put it on my hands and neck and decollete. Decollete is this part. But I just take the this little extra liquid that's inside here. I don't know if you see it dripping. Yeah, I don't waste it. I just take it. Put it here, make sure I'm using the juice, put it on my hands. Boom. So let me put my clothes on and I'm gonna show you my OOTD. We're gonna walk. I think I'm gonna do like a little local cafe as opposed to a Starbucks this morning. So we'll see. I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this outfit of the day, but I'm not a huge fan. The the proportions are all off. Um, but I'm gonna keep it on because who cares? Um <laughs> really. Um when I get to the airport, though, I am going to change. Well, before I go to the airport, I will change back into my leggings. Probably keep this overshirt. I mean, this shirt as an overshirt on top of the leggings. So, you yeah, know, whatever. And it'll match my um, black and white Pumas. But all the cuts are like this sweater, sweatshirt, sweater thingy is, too, is smaller than the shirt that's underneath. So you can kind of see the shape of the shirt pulling against the sweatshirt. And then... This up here is boxy and the bottom is boxy. So the whole look is just boxy. Anyway, I'm not a fan, but I'm going to keep it on because I'm only going to be in the office for three, four hours. And um, yeah, who cares? It's not like, yeah, I don't know. It's not a big deal. And then for jewelry, I have on my um, custom necklace from Dorado. One of my faves. I absolutely love these necklaces. They're super affordable really well made, et cetera, et cetera. If you're interested, I always link the things that I'm passionate about in the description below. And then there's a discount code too. Not trying to sell you, but just in case you're interested and you think, hey, I'd like that too. It's it's there for you. Um, and then shoes. I have on yet another pair of Rothy's. Let's focus on this so you can see. Oh, it's not brightening up. Why does it brighten in some instances and then not in other instances? I hate. Again, I need a I actually need a like a vlogging camera, but these are yesterday's was like a um nude color matched my skin. Today is gray. And it's funny because I posted my OOTD yesterday and some on um Instagram and somebody commented that my feet look ashy. And um I think they assume that my feet 
the shoes were my feet because they're very close nude nude match but light a lot slightly lighter so um, my feet were actually pretty greasy almost stained my shoes so it wasn't my feet are not ashy and they're not they're not ashy today I don't know if that's this is doing it any justice and I don't know that I need to justify it to you but my feet are not ashy uh, can you see a little glisten <laughs> All right, anyway, so I need to head out. I am still running a bit early, but I'm gonna stop at a little cafe to get something to drink, I think, and then um, head on over to the office. I need to be there by um, 8.30. Um, craziness is that, I think I shared yesterday, I have a conflict, a schedule conflict, so um, for the top of the meeting here, I need to step out and open up another call somewhere else for a team meeting, blah, blah, blah. whatever, too much, you don't care. Let's go. All right, we're on the move. Not sure if this any of this looks familiar, but this is the same path we took yesterday. Um, hopefully this cafe ahead of me has something that I want. Otherwise, I'm gonna walk another block further to get to the Starbucks. The only downside about that is if I have to redirect, I would not have pre-orders, so I'm gonna waste time. I'm such a deep. So I have too many things in my hand. I got my drink. Um, I think their handle on Instagram is Drip Kings LA. So super cute. Um, tastes all right. Pretty good. Um, anyway, I won't be able to vlog while I walk. I just can't get over the palm trees. Anyway, I can't vlog while I walk. I got too much in my hands, but I'll pick up when we're, I probably headed either to lunch or to the airport or something. I'll pick up later. All right, hopefully you can hear me. Um, I'm in the airport. There's like nobody here. It's almost midnight and I'm trying to find my way to the Uber. I don't know if you can even, can't see it. Oh well, um, there it is. A little Uber sign there. But I realize I haven't spoken to you since this morning. I went into the office, but I did um, end up grabbing a nice uh, lunch. Before that, I just kind of, um, the day it was a short day and as we were wrapping i realized i never showed you sort of the the grounds or anything so it is a super really beautiful campus and i did want to show you that um afterwards we went to um lunch and i have to tell you about it in a second i need to order this uber all right so i'm back ordered the uber so anyway um we went to this place called bay cities which is popular for like sandwiches and stuff like that inside of it um it is reminiscent of like a bodega in New York, um, but to yeah, me yeah, better, it has like all these like kitschy things that you can buy, like international things you can buy. Um, I was, we were in a rush. I wasn't in a position to really like, you know, just kind of go around and peruse the store and buy stuff. But next time I go, I'm going to make sure I go back in there, take my time and pick up some things. Um, I had a caprese sandwich. The bread was phenomenal with some chips by a brand named Tim's, which is local, and a um, alcohol alternative from a brand called Dry. You should try it. If you're not, if you don't drink alcohol um, and looking for an alternative, Dry is a beautiful brand. It's based out of Seattle, Washington. That's how I was introduced to it when I went to Seattle. I think I took you all on that trip with me. The last time I was in the Santa Monica area, um, I actually took you all with me too and showed you where we went next. We ended up going to the Third Street Promenade and I didn't get a chance to show you that because my battery, somehow, I don't even know why, like in the most um, clutch moments, my battery usually decides to just go dead. It went down to 1%, so I just wanted to save that 1%. Um, and then I put it on my my um, charger and um, didn't charge, I don't know what was going on, so I just didn't vlog it. But uh, I was there with a coworker, and we just kind of walked and had a, had a nice time just kind of relaxing after all of the meetings. I left on time, flight was smooth, and now it's um, nearly midnight. But um, I did want to make sure I got back on here to chat one last time. Hopefully I didn't forget telling you anything. Um, it's kind of status quo um, trip all in all. But um, I will talk to you soon. Bye.